chemistry, human activity, chemical reactivity is a package of integrated print and digital resources involving a textbook in print and ebook formats and a broad range of e resources accessed online from the ebook. This is one of a number of exemplars demonstrating aspects of the pedagogical approach and features of our project. The topic of this exemplar is molecular level visualization using computer modeling simulations in Odyssey. This software, available with our textbook, uses a molecular dynamics force field engine to produce single molecule models and, more importantly, multiple molecule simulations in the solid, liquid and gaseous states, under conditions of pressure and temperature that can be varied. Students can build their own molecular models and multi-molecular simulations or see the ones provided in Odyssey or downloaded from the ebook. They can manipulate conditions and see what happens and plot graphs of the results to discover relationships for themselves. In this video I'll demonstrate how to build your own simulation of an ionic solution and how this simulation leads to visualizing the powerful explanatory concept of charge density. And also how we use electrostatic potential map representations of molecules to visualize electron rich and electron deficient sites on molecules. And finally, how to imagine the collisions in a chemical reaction to better understand what a reaction mechanism represents. We start with a well-known student misconception about ionic solutions. If you ask students to draw a molecular level representation of, say, a barium chloride solution, many will draw something like this. Apart from the obvious mistaken symbol for barium and the emission of water molecules, the student has shown the solute species as molecules of barium chloride. This is clear evidence that this student does not have an accurate visual mental model of an ionic solution at the molecular level. For this reason, in our textbook, we always use the equated ions symbolic representation of ionic solutions. How can we help our students to imagine these solutions at this level and also get a feel for iron concentration? In Chapter 6, we introduce the topic of solution concentration expressed as molarity. How can we make the numbers in this concentration scale meaningful? In eResource 6.28, students use Odyssey to build their own simulation of an ionic solution. Let me show you how to build a simulation of a one molar sodium chloride solution and then you can have a go at building a simulation of say a 0.5 molar magnesium chloride solution. We start by opening the electronic model kit in Odyssey. Example 13 shows how to build a simulation of a one molar sodium chloride solution. The instructions panel is here the plots build cell panel is here and this is the model simulation panel. Now first we need a model of each chemical species in the solution so we'll start with a water molecule. Now to build that we need an oxygen atom forming two bonds Now we also need a sodium ion, so we just need a sodium atom if we double click there, and then we need to set the charge to plus one. We also need a chloride ion. and double click there and we need to set the charge for the chloride ion to be minus one. Okay, the next step is to build a cell containing species in the liquid state at a particular temperature and pressure. So the icon at the top here is the cell, so we select the liquid state 
the temperature 25 degrees centigrade will be fine a density well just a little bit over one gram per cubic centimeter will do now here is the thinking step what are the relative numbers of the species involved well it can be shown that the concentration of pure water is about 55 molar so in a one molar sodium chloride solution the ratio of water molecules to sodium ions to chloride ions should be 55 to 1 to 1 or let's make it 110 to 2 to 2 so 110 2 2 now we're ready to build the cell but uh, just before we do that do you have a feeling for how many water molecules on average there are between the ions in a one molar sodium chloride solution? Well, let's just see. So we hit apply and that starts to build the cell. Okay, once the cell is produced, just make that a little bit bigger. Now we could play that simulation like so. Let's just um, make the irons a little easier to see. What we need to do is to select all of the chloride ions and uh, we need to show them in space filling format and uh, the sodium ions there's one there we'll show that space filling format as well and so that gives you a sort of a rough idea of the crowding in a one molar solution of sodium chloride. Now the cell dimensions are here, one nanometer by one nanometer by one na nanometer. And it's important to realize that we're watching this on the picosecond time scale down the bottom here. On average, there are about three water molecules between the ions in a one molar solution of sodium chloride. It's interesting to focus on a particular ion, say a sodium ion. So let's just select one of those and we'll just select one. And we right click and we set the sodium ion is a clipping center like so and let me just use the mouse scroll wheel to expand that up so what we see really is the sodium ion with just the first coordination sphere of water molecules we can play that there and um, you can see that there are six water molecules there Now, why can we only get six? Well, if we use the space filling model for the water molecules, you can see that actually the crowding means that we can only get six around a sodium ion. You can also see the orientation of the water molecules in contact with the iron depends on the charge of the iron. So the oxygen ends of the water molecules are pointing to the sodium ion there. OK, pause the movie now and try building a simulation yourself of say 0.5 molar magnesium chloride solution. 
when you're ready, start the movie again to see how useful these simulations can be for more advanced concepts.